Hey guys, Sierra McVeigh here, hanging out with one of the stars of ABC Family's new show, Stitchers, Kyle Harris. Hey guys. I have this condition. condition. You know that feeling of deja vu? That's how I feel all the time. You had some. You want to insert my consciousness into this guy's dead brain? We call it stitching. How are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm good. Awesome. I've been hearing you guys have had a, having a very hectic day. Very hectic day, yes. yes Running all we're, around. Uh, here shooting the finale. We're on our set right now in Kirsten's house, so yeah. it's, it's cozy. Feels like home. Yes, it's like absolutely. Home. So I'm for those who, who aren't familiar mm -hmm. with Stitchers yet, why don't you give us a quick little rundown on what the show's about? Stitchers is uh, about a, a young woman named Kirsten who has this, uh, mm, I wanna, like a condition uh, that's called temporal dysplasia, where she has no concept of time, therefore making her perfect as a candidate to be part of the Stitchers program, in which my character Cameron leads, and he's invented this technology where you're able to put a living uh, consciousness into the minds of the recently deceased, to then mm -hmm. uncover how the last moments of their lives were lived, to then take to the streets and figure out how that crime happened, and thus how they were murdered. Mm -hmm. And then we become kind of like, uh, Cops in a way. Yeah. Yeah. So it's we're like sci-fi cops. One thing I love about this show is I feel like there's nothing out there like this. None. It's completely different. Mm -hmm. So uh, what was it? Was that what it was about the show that made you want to be a part of it? Yeah. Like reading the script, it was just like it, any time it got too serious and too like you know procedurally and is that a word? It is um, now. <laughs> any time it got too procedurally, uh, it would make a joke and yeah. it would get light. And and the banter between Cameron and Curse is what really attracted me mm -hmm. is that they they both have never been out smarted in their entire lives until they've met each other and I think they love to hate each other and that's their attraction for each other yeah. and on top of all that relationship you have the entire Stitchers program and the drama that brings and the crimes that you have to solve every week so mm -hmm. it's got a lot in every episode that, yeah. that you're dealing with so. so talk to me about your character Cameron mm -hmm. are you guys do you have any similarities at all between you between you and the character um He's got a really nice apartment. He does it's, have a really nice I, apartment. I'm not saying that I do by any means, but I'm like, I walk in, I'm like, okay, Cameron. Like, <laughs> I could live here. I live here. He watches some HGTV. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, like, Cameron is like such a genius and such like, uh, he's a little sure of himself because he's so, so smart that mm -hmm. like, I uh, I didn't mess with those guys because I was like, you will do that and I will work for you one day, sir. <laughs> um, but we, I think his compassion towards his peers is one thing that I can relate to is that he'd do anything for his friends and mm -hmm. that's kind of where I kind of fall with Cameron. But other than that, he's a total like Comic-Con, Star yeah. Trek fanboy and I, I missed that in my childhood <laughs> so now I'm making up for it well, and, that's and doing my research later in life. So, well, yeah. I love it. Now talk about uh, Cameron and Kirsten's relationship again. Mm -hmm. Obviously right now they are basically just working together, kind yeah. of button heads a little bit. Where is that going to go in, later in the season? Are they going to kind of, is there going to be like some sort of romance at all? Is it strictly just It's a lot friends? of like, it's a lot of will they, won't they? I mean, yeah. it's one of those things where it ultimately, Kirsten is void of emotion. So every stitch she goes into, she then takes on the emotion of that memory. Mm -hmm. So Cameron ultimately knows that he's kind of like falling in love with this weird like robot girl in yeah. a way because she doesn't actually understand empathy and mm -hmm. all these other you know human traits and so as the show progresses and she starts to take on more she starts to become more human and he starts to kind of realize that like I don't know if it's so much of him being responsible for her that it's confused as romantic feelings or just more of like a caretaker okay. um, and so it's a lot of will they won't they and it's a lot of should they shouldn't they yeah you know, so is there maybe one scene or one episode from this season that you're excited for audiences to see or maybe it was fun to film oh yeah i mean right now we're we're doing the finale so i guess yeah. i can pitch that so stay tuned yeah. until oh the yeah finale. <laughs> so we've got no but i mean every episode there's something fun that happens and every mm -hmm. episode's got its own kind of tone yeah but i think uh episode five is when things start to get real serious and start realizing that what we're actually dealing with is above us and above mm -hmm. our heads and we could get in serious trouble. Okay. And so that's when the stakes get higher and things go down. And yes. uh, I think uh, uh, from five on, we're just kind of dealing with how we live in this world. Interesting. Well, I'm so excited to check it out. It yeah. sounds so cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And you guys, for more on Stitchers, make sure you head to hollywire.com and Hollywire TV. See you later. Bye.